Yo, 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 what up? It's the first video of 2022. I'm slightly less sick, so that's good. Today, we're going to talk about goal setting, motivation, uh, and what goes into setting a goal and completing that goal. Hopefully, I catch some of y'all dumbasses before you set a stupid-ass goal and you don't complete it for the year, okay? Let's talk about why you don't complete your goals. I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. I don't want this video to be longer than 8 to 10 minutes. I know y'all got short-ass attention spans. I'm going to try to finish this quickly for y'all. If you set a goal for this year and it's something that you didn't really want to do, that's a stupid fucking goal. If, it, if you just don't want to do it, it's, it's horrible. Why would you set a goal that you don't want to do? Don't set goals because you think you should be making them or because you want to please somebody else. You're not going to stick to that shit, okay? <laughs> Most of the days, even when you do something that you want to do, there's a lot of days that you don't want to do it. But you know what? Overall, you're like, I like this. I got a goal. I'm going to achieve this at the end, and it makes it worth going. If you already don't like this shit, when it gets hard, you're going to drop out, bro. That's just real. You're going to drop out, okay? People people tell me all the time, "Oh, I just uh, I just can't finish stuff. I set goals and I just I just don't make it to the end. I guess I have commitment issues or something." Motherfuckers be watching 900 episodes of some anime called One Piece. Bro, you don't have commitment issues. You're obsessive with stuff that you like. That's the problem. You have to do stuff that you like. If you if you want to set a goal in fitness, find some shit that you like. You know what I'm saying? People think lifting weights is the only way. I lift a lot of weights. I post a lot of weightlifting. I post a lot of boxing stuff. Those are not the only two things in fitness, all right? Don't let these fitness people mess your head up. There's a whole bunch of other stuff. There's walking. There's hiking. There's cycling. There's swimming. There's volleyball. It's just literally hundreds of things that you can do for your fitness and health, all right? Find something that you like. If lifting weights just sucks for you, don't fucking do it. Bro, lifting weights was not a thing 500 years ago. It might not be a thing 500 years from now. When all the gyms shut down, people will still be doing shit outside, okay? Lifting weights is cool right now. Fuck it. You don't have to do it. So, you really got to have that internal motivation. You have to really want to do it. You know, people set goals of making money for their children. You love your children. You really want to make money for your children. You want your children to have the best life possible in the future. So even when stuff gets hard, you're thinking about your kids, okay? If your goal was to buy a chain or something like that, if shit got really tough, you might say, man, I don't give a fuck about this chain. I don't give a fuck about this car or whatever. Something something very uh, materialistic that doesn't matter. I guess that's the best word I could use right now, right? So... The less you care about it, the harder it's going to be to stick to it. All right? So let's let's pull this back in. Let's start from the beginning. I'm trying to set a goal. I'm going to use fitness because that's my thing, right? I'm trying to set a fitness goal for this year. First, I need to start off with something that I like, okay? The point that I'm at in my life right now, I do not care for running like that. So if I set a goal to run a marathon, that would just be stupid to me. Because I probably wouldn't do it unless I had some reason. Now, this is this is where I'm talking about that internal motivation again. If I'm running a marathon uh, to support someone or to help, uh, you know, victims of something, then, you know, I care about helping people. So that brings me back into my internal motivation. I might not care about running so much, but I care about helping people. And I pretty much will do anything it takes to help uh, people in any way that I can. So I'm setting my goal. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I want to lift this much weight because I want to make it to this event. And if I make it to this event, I think I'll reach more people. And I think I'll be able to help a lot more people. You See how I reeled that in and I brought that back to helping people? Because that's my thing, right? So if I know that achieving this thing is going to help me help people, even when that shit gets tough, I'm like, yo, when my people see this and they share it to their people and they blah, 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 I'm going to help so many more people. Uh, same thing with these videos. I don't be feeling like making these sometimes, bro. But I think about y'all. I think about maybe you watching it and gaining some inspiration or motivation. Sending it to someone who might be inspired or motivated. I get messages sometimes. I'm like, damn, I got to go make videos now. Because they told me this shit hyped them up and blah, blah, blah. 
I don't really care about content creation. You know what I'm saying? I care about helping people. So once you have set that goal or made, you know, you're in a direction of something that you care about. All you got to do from there is easy. Like, it's really easy to stick to something that you that you want to do. You know what I mean? You just need to set it up so that uh, you have checkpoints, you know, little milestones, micro goals, macro goals, all of that BS. That, that stuff's all over the web. I don't I don't really care to talk about that. If you got something that you want to achieve at the end of the year, you need to have monthly checkpoints. It's that simple. Just so at the end of the month, you can reel it in and say, Am I on the right path? Yes, continue. Am I on the right path? No. Okay, something needs to change. Hey, stop scratching. Um, so, yeah. That stuff's too easy. We're talking about stuff that I think people uh, don't mention. So, you, you, don't need, you don't need motivation. You just need discipline. Yeah, you, discipline's easy when you, when you like something. When you care about what you're doing, you know what I mean? It's, it's a little bit easier to be disciplined about making a better future for your kid versus some shit that you don't care about. So if you're having trouble sticking to your goals and being disciplined, ask yourself, do you fucking care about what you're doing? If you do care about what you're doing, <laughs> why are you having trouble with it? That, that's a different question. We're going to have to get into it. You might have to go to a therapist or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Or you might have to do some real self reflection. But more than likely, like I said, your problem is just that you just don't care about it that much. Okay? Go in the direction of stuff that you care about. Follow your passions. You know, there's going to, from there, like I said, all the other stuff. I have videos about that already. There's other videos on the web about that. Once you go in a direction of stuff that you care about, from there, it's making a plan and it's sticking to it, forcing yourself to go in on the days where uh, it's not so fun. But other than that, you're good. I want y'all to comment if you watch this and tell me your goals and tell me why you want to achieve that goal. Not that I'm going to like parent you and be like, that's not a good goal, but... I just kind of want to see where your head's at. So tell me what you want to achieve. Tell me why you want to achieve it. You might help someone that's trying to set a goal, uh, you know, set a better goal. They might see your reasoning behind wanting to do something and say, oh, that's the kind of internal motivation I need. So do that for me if you're a real follower. If not, let me not say follower because y'all are not followers. If you're a real viewer, do that for me. If you don't do it, I hate you and uh, I don't wish anything good for you in the next few days okay thanks for watching i'll see y'all next video